Hey, what's happening, guys? If you're playing around with electronics for any length of time, you're going to grow a collection of components. And <laughs> as neat as you think you may be, they're eventually going to get mungled up and you're going to need to figure out what's what. And that is just one use of a device like this. This is the T7 multifunction tester also called a transistor tester or a component tester. You can pick devices like this up for, yeah, as cheap as maybe seven or eight dollars to something a little more professional level like uh, this Atlas Peak here that's going to run you close to two hundred dollars. But for the average person, in my opinion, Something like this, which lists on Amazon for $21, is awesome. So first of all, it's got a rechargeable battery built in. I like it already. The older ones that I've had of this, which, you know, just mounted on a board, uh, they generally required a 9-volt battery. And they went through those batteries pretty quick. I like this. I can just plug it in when I'm not using it, and it'll be fine. You can see it has a ZIF socket, and the pins on the ZIF socket are labeled. There you go. One, two, three, one, two, three, two. So you don't want to double up. Otherwise, you're just putting two legs of a component into the same input. Nothing's going to happen. And it also tells you here we have cathode and anode. So you know what you're doing. And this IR light we'll come back to later. So, but basically, to use it, you insert your component, you press the button, it has a look, and it tells you what's going on. So, let's start out with something simple. Here is the resistor focus. I hate these blue ones. You can never tell what the color bands are, but I think this is 100 ohm. So we'll put it in here between the one and the three pins. You can fold it and put it in between the one and the two pins as well. Press down on the zip socket handle so that it's firmly inserted. Press the button. And you see we have a resistor, 100 ohms, 100.7. Pretty slick. But what else can it do? How about the Zener? Yeah. Come on, fingers. <laughs> it's 5 o'clock in the morning. Give me a break. All right, Zener. Let's see what it does for a Zener. Zener, there we go. Cathode, anode, and this would be an 18-volt Zener. How about a MOSFET? This is an IRFC44N, which is very popular. It's one of, it, well, one of, it is my favorite MOSFET to use. There you go. And channel enhancement mode MOSFET. Drain on pin 2, gate on pin 1, source on pin 3. RDS on is 0.2 ohms. Now, it comes with a few accessories, like these nice little mini grabbers here. What we can do is insert them in. Like so. And then, if you have a component whose legs... Well, I really can't see this morning whose legs might be, you know, too big to fit in the ZIF socket, or something that might still be attached to the uh, PCB, although you generally don't want to check things that are still attached to a PCB, because anything else that's attached to is going to affect the reading. What you can do, if you have to do that, is unsolder one leg of it. Okay, there we go. We're hooked up. Check it again. There you go. These wires changed their RDS on there, didn't they? Wow. Interesting. 
So what else can it test? Uh, I got some stuff here. One second, please. Wow, can you guys hear the wind chimes on my porch? The wind is really howling this morning. Anyway, here is a Darlington um, pair. Basically, two transistors chained together to increase the gain. I think it shouldn't have any trouble at all reading that. Ooh. She don't like, oh, I'm sorry. Now, well, you can see that. That is a voltage regulator. So it doesn't do voltage regulators. This would be my Darlington pair. Yeah, there we go. Come on, focus. Yep. Um, of course, it will read capacitors. You definitely want to uh, discharge them before you put them in there. And there's even a little warning right there. So this is a thousand microfarad. Taking a while, but it's a thousand microfarad. 925 even gives you your ESR I don't know how much stock I would put into their ESR readings uh, how about a big red LED Diode with a forward voltage of 1.89. Yeah, that's uh That's what it is now look at that and you can see the pulses When it's testing Kind of interesting Shows you what's going on All right, well also it comes with a little charging cable These pins and a small red LED for some reason I don't know why. Let's take it apart. It's held in by four small Phillips head screws. <laughs> I'm trying not to make a mess as I take it apart. There we go. So there is our battery, 303040, 3.7 volts, 350 milliamp hours, and you can see right there by my thumb, it has charging built into it. Let's uh, can't unplug that battery, put that off of there, a little blank out plate there. That is an Atmega, probably a 328P. We have some sort of header here. That's interesting. Look like at that. That is inter That is really neat. Hold on. I'm going to restart the camera this time with the light on. All right, take a look at that. Is that a multi-tapped inductor? Or is it a multi-tapped transformer? That is, that is really interesting. I am only seeing two wires coming off, coming to these outside pins. So I'm guessing it's an inductor? Oh, no, 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 no. Each one of those pins over there has wires coming off of it, too. So it's a multi-tap transformer. That's interesting. Wow. All right, let's... Uh, let's take these four out. Or three. Or two. <laughs> Yeah. 
the right tool for the job. Find the right size tip so that we don't ruin any screws. And those things, those were put in there for keeps, which is good. That's what you want. Maybe that's what you want. Maybe you want your stuff to fall apart. How should I know? You people are so fickle. All right, so there's the front end of our board. I like that they've put that in there with headers. Cool. Let's reassemble. Okay. So I've got it plugged in charging there, as you can see. And what I want to show you is it'll work while charging. And also, what is that little IR thing there for? Well, it's a decoder. So here is the uh, remote for my TV in here. We'll hit the button. Aim and press. And what do you see? IR decoder user code. Let's try a different one. So this was data code DA25. Try a power button. 8877. <laughs> what happens if you hit the Netflix button? CC33. So yeah. That is not useful to me in the least, but it's useful to somebody, I'm sure. So, very cool. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on the T7 multifunction tester. These are really, really useful to have. You know, at this price you get a couple of them. Have one in your bag, one on your desk. And throw them around wherever. Again, thanks for watching. Please feel free to comment, so share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons who make this possible. Without patron money, I wouldn't be able to purchase neat little things like this for us to look at. So thank you very much. If you're not a patron, there's a link down below. There's also a link down below and a card that will pop up with my Amazon affiliate link. And... If you buy stuff from Amazon, I would wish you consider using my link. It won't cost you anything, and it'll make a few pennies for the channel and help things out. I got a kid going to college next year. I can use all the help I can get. Right, Doglies? What do you say? Say hi to the nice people. Yeah, she pretty much doesn't say anything at all, does she? Nope. All right, guys. That's it. I'm out. Peace.